here we are at the Galaxy Motor Speedway, the only half mile and the most famous track in Seaport, Wisconsin. It is the Seaport 300, and we are going to go 25 laps around this half mile joint. We have 28 cars, and starting first is the 78 of Martin Truex Jr. with a whopping 15.334 second lap. Here is his qualifying lap. Fifteen point three three four seconds was Martin Truex Jr.'s qualifying time. These all should be familiar, except where's where's the two? Uh, we got a couple cars that have not entered yet. They're coming. Okay, we got thirty-two cars. All these are probably familiar with you. And, but the 03 is Bristol, baby. Since this track looks so much like Bristol, it's known as the Bristol of Seaport. There's Frank Kolax in the two. That double zero right there, the street stock, for the third race in a row is Sal Walton. I don't know why they let street stocks into a NASCAR race. There's Carter Green in the 58. And then there's Donald Duck in the 05. We're about ready to get racing. Here we go. Green, green, green. This is the 2020 Christmas holiday. The race. Here we go. Merry Christmas, everybody. Green flag. Lap 4 out of 25, we'll be back on lap 7. Caution out for that one. The one car has stopped on the racetrack. We will be back on lap 7. Alright, here we are. Green flag, lap 7 of 25. Here we go. Oh, what a huge wreck. Kyle Busch, you better be watching out, because if the best thing you can do is pull out in front of Denny Hamlin, it's the end of segment one, 11 laps. But join us tomorrow for segment two. Eric Amarola is in the lead. Then Ryan Newman second, Kyle Larson third, Sal Walton fourth, and Martin Trax Jr. fifth. Join us tomorrow. And we'll have more Tom Ford. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We are on lap 11 of 25 in this epic race. There are all kinds of new paint schemes. And here is the 43, one of the hottest ones now, the All Lives Matter car. We got a Kobe Bryant tribute car, which is... Um, which is William Byron, and he's one of them, of our drivers to watch. Our four today are William Byron, Kevin Harvick, the 33 of Ralph Kolax, and the 12 of Ryan Blaney. We're getting ready to go. The part this race is sponsored by by Blue Force Auto and Software. Here we go, green flag.
we might get this mess cleaned up eventually. Six cars, 15 laps in, it'll be 18 laps in when we come back. But this will take a long time to clean up. Look at that. The 21 drove under Denny Hamlin. Kurt Busch drove under Carter Green. The 89 flipped onto the flipped onto the 14. William Byron spun he spun out. And then Ryan Newman was good. Um not to be kind of a can head like Denny Hamlin was in this, and even though he had nothing to do, the 21 was being more of a um, butt face, because he did not know where to go. We'll be back. We're going to do a couple commercials, and we might be back after that. Introducing a new platform. Introducing new beginnings. Launching January 2nd is Discovery and NCT combined. With NCT taking over, Discovery Plus and NCT Plus are now available. But launching January 2nd is NCT Plus. Stream it now. Call 412-1969 for local service in Seaport and stream from channel 24 or channel 12, local NCT of Seaport. Welcome back to Seaport, where we are about to finish the final seven laps of this race. This is the whole PTT complex, but there's more to Seaport than this. And there is the tallest building in downtown Seaport, known as the Fells Wargo Tower. Here's the PNC Twin Towers, the Simmons Bank Building, the Coke Center, MP Animations, the Duke Energy Center, the 626 Apartments Building, the Fifth Third Bank Tower, the PTT Place, the PTT Tower, 1,031 feet, tallest building in Seaport, and the PTT Plaza, second tallest building in Seaport, 1,004 feet. We're about to give the command for the final seven laps of this race. Rain and snow have affected us a lot. But here we are. Starting first will be Frank Coax, then Chase Elliott. Then Kevin Harvick in third will be trying to get the win. So will Ryan Newman in the six and Dale Earnhardt in the three B. Ty Dillon had a bad start from second to sixth after spinning the tires. And there is Clint Boyer, seventh in the Seaport 500. Eighth is Alex Bowman. Ninth will be the 20 of Eric Jones. And tenth will be the 10 of Eric Almirola. We have five cars out on this second part of the race, but now it is now a part three. Here we go from Seaport, the final seven laps of this race. Here we go, green, green, green. Oh my God, what a huge wreck. This man is just huge. Look, Kevin Harvick is stuck. Chase Elliott is upside down. Dale Earnhardt is also stuck. Eric Almirall was on top of Eric Jones, Rodney Combs, and Todd Allen. Alex Bowman went hard into the wall. Joey Logano has nowhere to go. And, but these guys all were lucky. Well, we'll have to rack them back up. It'll be a restart, but seven laps to go because they didn't even make it into turn one. The turn one meme is going way too strong today. Man, I do not know why. Um, 
We'll try to get this cleaned up. Um, I'll show you live coverage of the tow truck trying to pull Kevin Harvick off. Well, here we are. They finally got all this cleaned up. We're going to do the final four laps of this. Hopefully it'll go better. That was a big seven car wreck. I can't wait to see what's next. But here we go. Green flag. And here we are. It'll be a one light shootout to the end. I don't know how we got this wreck. But we did. One light shootout to the end. Here we go. Green. 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 Here we are in Seaport. The final lap. Here is your winner, Kevin Harvick. After 25 laps of pulverization, Kevin Harvick has finally won this race. The Seaport 500 at the Galaxy Motor Raceway. Thank you all for joining us. You never know where I will be next. But thank you for joining us in Seaport, Wisconsin today.